We're Emily and John, and if you've watched our last video, you would have seen that we've just sold our house and bought three acres of land in West Wales, so we can build a tiny home and live mortgage free. In today's video, we start the journey of bringing our abandoned caravan park back to life, as we start clearing out the caravans and attempt to get our water and electricity connected, so we can move on to the land and start the renovation. So let's show you what we've been up to at Camp Out West. Okay, so we have just arrived at our local farmer's merchant and we're here today to look at gates. So if you would have seen on our last video, you would see our driveway onto the land is completely open, uh, which means anyone can walk on. So we've come today to look at the fences and gates in our budget because we have no idea just how expensive a 15 foot gate would be and we need to make sure that it's big enough so when we have deliveries in the future lorries and things like that can fit down for when we have our shipping containers delivered so yeah that's what we're doing today so we have just got back to the land and now we're going to go and try and fix our water supply because we realized to fix the new gate in we need water so we can use concrete and our water supply is somewhere deep in here and we need to fix new pipes because they're all burst and got holes in them so yeah that's our job before we can start the gate and then our gate will be going along here i actually didn't realize how deep our land went in there look how far it goes up How are you getting on? Yeah, well I found the electrical box. I'm guessing the water pipe is under here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Yes, yeah, so on the road over there is our stop tap. And then all the way over here, there's a really old crusty water valve. So I'm guessing our pipe goes somewhere down there. So we should see a blue pipe running on the surface somewhere in here. So we spent about six hours trying to find our water pipes down here. We dug out quite a lot. That was completely overgrown and no luck. So <laughs> we're ready just to start digging to see if we can find them. When our water engineer came out to show us where our water supply would be, he told us we would just see blue water pipes running along the surface, just slightly in from our stop tap here, as the old owner used to run all of his pipes just on the surface through there, straight into his caravans but we haven't been able to find any water pipes at all, so we're starting to think maybe they must be buried underground instead. So we are trying to find the electric going into the caravan. We're also trying to find the water going into the caravan so we can trace it back. You okay, Maggie? You happy, girl? You look very happy. Hello. We definitely underestimated how hard it would be to find the water pipes, especially as we were told they would be running on the surface and easy to see. So now we are just removing as much decking as we can so we can get a better view under the caravans. So we were just rummaging around one of the old caravans and we've managed to find uh, the actual water feed pipe. So we're going to take our new piece of pipe and our tap fittings and we're going to try and attach it so we've got water for our touring caravan. And this is what we just made our way across. Look how rotten the boards are. Look at that. What horrible creatures have been living oh, in there. Oh don't say that while I'm stitching it. Here's our new pipe. This is the what we think is the water feed from our stop tap at the road which goes off under there to the other caravans yeah so we're going to disconnect it here connect it to our new pipe and then hopefully we have we've water. got water but also john found the armored cable of our electricity our, our main electricity which is there so no oh. wonder we couldn't find our water pipes on the surface because they're buried <laughs> So here I'm just attaching a new connector to our main water pipe that's coming out of the ground so we can replace the old leaking water pipes with a new one. 
that's seated in properly there. I'm gonna go and turn the water on. Hopefully it works. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna wait here and see if it comes out the end. This is us turning on the water. I can hear it! <laughs> it's working! We got water! Now I'm just attaching a new water pipe to the post so we can add a tap and access to running water on site. You do the honor sign. Ready? <gasps> we got water! Ooh. Happy? Oh, there's a little bit of air in the pipe and stuff. We've got water and electric. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try and turn the power on to see if we can connect it up to our caravan so wish me that this is our electric box that we found when we uncovered everything so anything happening Okay, I'm just gonna walk, walk down to John and see if we've got power. Have we got power? Yeah. Underneath. Keep way out. There's nothing underneath. We've got power. Okay, just pull in, way down. Now we have electricity on site. That means we can try and get internet fitted at our land too. So our next job is to start streaming and clearing the areas around our telephone pole. So we have space for an internet hub to go and also space so an engineer can come out and replace our old phone line. Happy Monday. So we spent our first night on the land last night as a family sleeping in our caravan just up there and today is super exciting because we have a BT engineer on his way and he's going to try and fit the internet for us so our old phone line is just up here and we're going to try and get fiber just because we need it for work and at the moment on the land it's a complete dead zone for signal and anything so when we're here we're kind of disconnected and yeah he's on his way now and we're not too sure if he will actually be able to fit fiber um, especially because you can't really put it into a caravan so john's built this little hub box over here i'll show you it looks like a cute little beehive but um he's made this he's gonna clad the front as well and um, we figured it would be sensible to have it here just because it's close to our telephone pole um and then with the idea that they'd be able to fit our wireless router in there and then we should be able to pick up the internet to our caravan um but yeah we've got an old old line up here so they need to try and fit a new fiber one so the technician is on his way now so we just have to wait and see fingers crossed if he can do it we had the nicest bt engineer called chris arrived to come and fit our internet and after chatting we found out he was from just down the road and they were actually somehow related to each other <laughs> Okay, today is the day we are officially starting to clear the contents of the caravans. We've just put a big sheet in the van just to try and protect it. Definitely looks like we're going to put a body in here or something. <laughs> it's funny because everyone on TikTok was commenting saying, have you found any bodies yet? None yet, so fingers crossed <laughs> it stays that way. So I'm taking you into the first caravan. Got to go across the old rotten deck in to get there. We go. So this is the oldest caravan. Some old photo albums. Love the dog. 
a lot of rubbish that we've got to get rid of. So I think the plan is today we're going to fill the van with all these old mattresses, all these black bags, maybe this chair. Also coming down from the kitchen. Into these black rooms here. I believe the lights do work. If I can, if I can find one. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, old appliances, old heaters. Doesn't work in here. Old bathroom. Couple of spiders been living here. A view. So this is where we're currently getting our electric from. And this is it. Here we go. So today's job was emptying caravan number one which was full to the brim of old furniture, bikes, multiple mattresses, chairs, paperwork, old photo albums, and we even found bottles of pee. See anything? Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we know a skip would have been an easier option, but as this is only caravan one out of four, we knew we would need a lot of skips, which would cost a lot of money and something we don't really have funds for at the moment. We're happy to do it ourselves, plus we really wanted to recycle as much of the rubbish as we could. So this way, by doing it ourselves, we know exactly where it's all going. So when we were clearing out the caravan yesterday, we found loads of old photos of the people that used to live here in the 80s. So we're just going to take you around and show you some of the pictures, the before and what it is now. So this is the exact caravan to now. It's crazy seeing the colour difference between the two. So. This road used to continue all the way down there and go in a full circle back out before the house next door was built and now it's just overgrown. Yeah, so this is our, our driveway and you can see underneath all this grass is actually some sort of tarmac and now it's literally just all overgrown. We also found so many pictures of the old owner's dogs which made us feel like we were definitely meant to live here with Maggie. Uh, this is a dog called Max and there's just so many photos of him. <laughs> this one was captioned Max guarding dad's slippers. <laughs> Max's first snow day. Max's first Christmas. And they also had loads of cute dash hounds in the caravans. So cute. Okay, so that's the end of our latest video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Next on our to-do list is to empty the other caravans and start breaking them down. And then we want to build an outside shower just to make life a bit easier. So <laughs> tune in for that one. <laughs>